Many young men uh, are seeking asylum from Iraq uh, in Sweden, and m most of them are being rejected, uh, and they have different stories about uh, being threatened by the Americans or something. But uh, w what would you say is the situation for them when they are sent back to Iraq today? The situation is very bad, and uh, UNHCR recently wrote a number of reports uh, telling the European governments not to send the refugees back. It would be contrary to the conventions they signed. And then there's the, the latest report, um, UNHCR report. I should find it here, and, and it's, it's, it's good if, we, if, if I quote it. Um, it's, it's from 19 October, so... And they did a, a survey from Iraqis who returned. And um, the, during the course of these interviews of the, the people who returned, UNHCR staff were informed by returnees uh, of numerous instances of explosions, harassment, military operations, and kidnapping occurring in their areas of return. So. It is criminal to send the refugees back now. Plus, I think that the costs for hosting the refugees should not be paid, nor by Sweden, who was not involved in the war, but should be paid by the countries who invaded the, the, the Iraq and the countries who helped them including the United Kingdom, Denmark, and, and all the other states who, are in, who were involved. This is only, I think, this is only fair. The situation for those who are coming back is very bad, and the FN's flight organization, UNHCR, has said that countries do not need to send them back to Iraq, and that they would fight against the conventions that these countries have undertaken. The latest report, on the 19th of October, Uh, som går igenom situationen för de som skickas tillbaka uh, visar att de utsätts för, för uh, 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 övergrepp och, och våld på olika sätt. Uh, och uh, i den här situationen är det kriminellt att skicka tillbaka dem. Men uh, kostnaden för deras uppehälle bör inte betalas av länder som Sverige som inte har har varit inblandad utan den bör betalas av ockupationsmakten och de länder som deltar i ockupationen och de länder som har hjälpt till med ockupationen.